There are issues. There may be a serious issue. Well, let's discuss. Right, Teleado champs, now let's discuss all the issues with the new 2020 iMac. I've had the base model, I've had the fully specced out one, so yeah, I've got a really good idea how they are. If you guys are new around here, come on, sub up, join the woo train, hit that bell, ding a ling a dong, and be a champ and hit that like button. Let's get into it. And I'll put this video off because I want to wait to see what happens here. And there is potentially like a really show-stopping one. Like, you know, it's a graphics glitch and we'll discuss what models it affects and is it software, is it hardware? We'll discuss that later. But I can make a video on how great this machine is, right? How much I've enjoyed using it, how powerful it is, the display. And if you're thinking of buying an iMac, don't worry about Apple Silicon. Get this thing because it's amazing. But nothing's perfect and we're going to talk about all the issues with this and things I don't like. So what are my issues with this? I mean a lot of people might think well Apple Silicon's around the corner. I don't think there's a new Apple Silicon 27 inch iMac anywhere on the horizon soon. In actual fact people have been leaking they're going to release more Intel systems alongside Apple Silicon systems. But I guess you have to you know bring up the elephant in the room. You know with the new iMac you're going to get new design maybe Face ID there's going to be all sorts of things but will your apps run who knows so i guess you can include that as a con that it is the older design but um i gotta say it's a tool and i don't really notice it in the end but one thing i do notice is the fan yes the fan is on pretty much all the time especially in this top spec model i gotta say it's not loud it's not particularly loud and this is just when i'm web surfing doing nothing really you can still hear the fan in a quiet room in a normal environment where you got you know a tv on or just noise around you in an office or something like that you probably won't notice it but certainly in a quiet room you will hear the fan and although it's not very loud it's just like, why am I hearing a fan when I'm surfing the net? I mean, is that really a thing? I've got a laptop, a MacBook Pro laptop. I don't hear the fan on that when I'm surfing the net. So, bit of a disappointment there. I don't like that. I've got to say, when you're video editing and stuff like that, you don't really hear the fan at all. It doesn't really crank up that much. The only time you're going to hear it is when, you know, render or something like that, when you hit that CPU really hard and gaming it is what it is but i gotta say i don't really notice it that much anymore it's just something i would mention i don't like that they left the same port situation only two thunderbolt 3s the mac mini has four thunderbolt 3s i mean one of the big selling points of these 10th generation cpus is you can have up to 40 lanes of pci express they could have put a load more of thunderbolt 3 ports the way I have it set up, it's not too bad because I use a Thunderbolt dock with one and I guess I got one left over and I do have 10 gig networking. I bought the option with that so, you know, I'm not going to have to use a Thunderbolt port for 10 gig networking. But again, you know, they don't really want to mess about with the ports and that and, you know, upgrade them because, yeah, minimum resources, they just want to slap out this update and they don't want to put that much effort into it. A shame. It's a real shame because, I mean, think about it. This is a 10-core monster. You know, the latest Intel CPUs can go up to 5 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes, 5700 XT. It's a real beast. I mean, it's going out with a bang here, and it just could have been so much better. Now, one thing on the keyboard. This keyboard, I assume it's supposed to be like this magic keyboard off the old iMac, the old wired version. And i got to say, it is a pale imitation of that keyboard. This magic keyboard on the old iMac, it is like night and day difference in quality, in feel of the keys, the feedback. It feels like a real quality product. This keyboard you get with the new iMacs, they have used this keyboard for, you know, quite a few iterations of the iMac. And honestly, it feels like a cheap knockoff. Like it feels like a knockoff of this original iMac keyboard. And it's flat, it feels a bit mushy in the middle, and it just doesn't feel like Apple quality. It seems like they've skimped. Just not quite up to Apple standard here. But then there's the mouse. Oh, like I always use a trackpad with Mac OS, and I do on this sort of as well. But, you know, it's not that the magic mouse or whatever the hell it's called is bad. It's fine, I can use it. Except whatever they're doing in Mac OS with the mouse acceleration or deacceleration or whatever tuning they're doing, it sucks. I mean, I put the mouse up to full speed. It isn't fast enough, for one, but I can live with that, right? Now, if you game, you'd know that if you use a high DPI mouse, you get used to it. With Mac OS, I don't know what happens, but when you're slowing down to try and hit a target, 
like click on something, it has some sort of deacceleration or something built in and it fights against what you're doing. It just sucks. I mean, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, when you're slowing down the mouse, they're trying to make it smoother so you can hit the target better, but it doesn't work. It just makes it worse. So I might have to just get a third party mouse and hopefully I can, you know, bypass whatever Mac OS is doing with the mouse. I don't know how to turn off that deacceleration or whatever they're doing. I'm not liking that. So now let's get into the big issue. And yes, there are some issues with this graphically, something to do with the 5700 XT. It seems to be specifically that model. And what's happened is you're getting screen tearing, right? Someone actually captured it. I don't know how they've done it. It's random. It's intermittent. So it doesn't happen all the time. And it's hard to know when it's going to happen. So it's hard to capture. But someone actually captured it. So if you have a look there, you see what happens there. That's what's happening. Now, a lot of people go crazy. Oh, no. I've got a lemon. And I knew about this whatever two weeks ago i haven't been worried about it i haven't contacted apple support you know i could have returned it or whatever but because this has happened with the macbook pro 16 and i think because this is a new gpu in here you got a new motherboard as well probably a bios or firmware issue software issue now we can't conclusively say that but what we know is the 5700 xt is having issues with that graphical glitch doesn't seem to happen in windows some other glitches the rounded corners are you know turn in square or sharp people are capturing that do you know what i say because this is a new motherboard and it's a new graphics card yeah you better get apple care just get it this is potentially an issue that might not be able to be fixed in firmware with a bios update but i'm not panicking at the moment i'm just letting you know there is this graphics issue with the 5700 xt the first two weeks i'm thinking it must have been the ram i put in because i put 3200 ram that was the speed of the ram and it only does 2666 the speed of the ram that's another thing right if i'm putting 3200 megahertz ram why is it only running at 2666 when 10th generation cpus are supposed to be running at what 2933 come on apple why are you running 2666 but that's beside the point the point is i was running 3200 megahertz ram and it was running at 2666 and i was thinking maybe it's because i've got the wrong speed ram maybe that's why it's glitching and for two weeks i was googling it every day and nothing so i'm thinking oh this is just my unit oh i was getting a bit worried there because you know at first just thought yeah whatever firmware update it will be fixed and you know this happens on laptops all the time when something's new just you know let a few biases go by but the thing is there was a big update not long ago and it was supposed to fix some stuff with the actual 2020 imax where the screen was looking washed out but it didn't fix the glitch so now i'm starting to get a bit more concerned but at least now i google it and if you go to mac rumor forums there actually is a thread and pretty much a lot of people are having this problem with the 5700 XT. People are saying when you connect to an external monitor, so you use two monitors, the inbuilt monitor and an external monitor, the glitch isn't there anymore. It's not happening. This makes me think maybe it is software. So far, we don't know. So until this issue is sorted, maybe wait off but if you're like me and you don't care because you'll just return it anyway or you know you trust that apple will fix it yeah just still buy it i wouldn't be worried about it the only thing i would say is get apple care because they'll just rip out the motherboard or just give you a new unit if you got apple care they just swap it over actually my iphone crack screen all the apple stores are closed near me so i ring up oh i got a crack screen i got apple care can i just get the screen replaced whatever oh we'll send you a new one Wow, sweet that's how good apple care is so i like it i'm getting a new iphone and this thing's been beaten and bashed and crashed and i'm getting a new one how awesome is that i'll probably sell it because um the new one's coming out so anyway get apple care plus we'll see what happens with this graphics situation i will update you with that and there are all the issues other than that i love this thing it's amazing you want to buy one get one don't listen to the naysayers oh there's apple silicon shove it up eat clack tell them to get stuffed stick it right up em. anyway catch you in the next one tally ho